This next section is a review of graphing linear equations. So before we get into all the graphing, let's write down all of the important formulas and forms and all the key information that you need so that you can graph successfully. Starting with the slope-intercept form. Now this is one that most students remember. And they say it all the time. So the slope-intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. So here's some things that you need to know about this form. Okay, first of all, this is an equation that is solved for y. Okay, so it has to be solved for y. This coefficient in front of the x is our slope. And as we're going to be seeing here in just a moment, we oftentimes look at our slope as rise over run. And then this guy right here, this b. b leads us to the y-intercept, and we would write that as 0b. Remember, when we talk about points, they're ordered pairs, so you can't just say the y-intercept is b. No, the y-intercept is 0b, and there is, there is a difference. So that's the slope-intercept form. And then we have the standard form. And the standard form is ax plus by equals c. And what we need to know about this is that a, b, and c, so a, b, and c are real numbers. And A and B, A and B are not both zero. Now, one of them can be zero, but they can't both be equal to zero, or else we'd have a problem here. If we have zero x and zero y, we don't have any variables, and this causes a big problem for us. All right, then we talk about intercepts. So let's talk about the x-intercept. So the x-intercept, this is the point, and it's important we understand it as a point. Um, it's a point where the line crosses the x-axis. It's the point where the line crosses the x-axis. And the form that we see for every x-intercept is going to be the ordered pair a comma zero. So for every x-intercept we know that the y value is going to be zero. Similarly, we have the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is, as you can imagine, is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. point where the line crosses the y-axis. And every y-intercept is going to take on the form 0, comma, b. And so what we know about every y-intercept is that the x value is going to be 0. One more thing we need to talk about is the formula for the slope. So for the slope, we often denote this with a lowercase m. Our slope is rise over run. And when we talk about rise, we're talking about how we change in the y direction. And our run is how we change in the x direction. And going back to what we talked about recently with the distance formula, we can use that little delta symbol to say the change in y or the change in x. But here is your slope formula. The change in y, so that's subtraction, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
So we're going to be using that later on when we're trying to write equations of lines and just trying to calculate the slope in general. And then finally, we have the point slope formula. And the point slope formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now I used to use this guy a lot, but not so much anymore. And so this is useful when you are given when you were given a point on the line x1, y1 and the slope m. So if you've got the point and the slope, you can plug it in and you can come up with an equation for the line. Now, there are easier ways for finding the equations of lines, and we're going to be seeing that in a later section. But coming up, we're going to be looking at just a, a whole slew of equations for us to graph. How do we graph using the slope-intercept form with standard form, finding intercepts and slope and all that jazz, so stick around.